In this lesson, we're gonna be talking about creating standalone executables with payloads from Metasploit. We've got this utility here called MSF payload. And we're gonna use MSF payload to actually take one of the payloads that's available inside of Metasploit, and we're actually gonna package it up into a standalone executable. I've got MSF payload here, and you can see that we're looking for the payload, and then we've got variables, and then we've got the type of data that we're gonna get out on the other end. We've got a C language program, we've got Perl, Ruby, we've got raw, here's an executable, which is what we're going to actually end up using. But the first thing I wanna do is take a look at the available payload. I'm gonna do MSF payload minus L, and we're going to get all of the payloads that are available. Now, one of the things that's important is to make sure that you understand the variables that are required for a particular payload, because those are gonna get packaged up and you're not going to get an opportunity like in Metasploit to be able to set those options later on. What I wanna do here is I'm gonna use the reverse TCP here. I'm going to do MSF payload and then the payload. And then I've got localhost equals 172.30.42.82 and local port we're gonna say is 4444. And then this is going to be an executable. So we're just gonna say X there. And now what it's doing is it's bundling that particular payload up into a Windows 64-bit executable because you see here we chose X64 which is the 64-bit version of this particular payload. So it's bundling this up, and it's going to create a .exe here. Actually, let's do this since it dumped it out to the screen. What I wanna do is, let's do that. I actually wanna write it out to this file here. But you can see what we ended up getting was the program that just got dumped out to the screen. And this is the interpretation here in ASCII of the binary values that were actually generated to create this particular program. Now, all I have to do is file stand.exe. And I've got a Windows executable here in 64-bit. Now I've got a standalone payload, and now what I could do would be to use MSF console and actually generate a listener, and I could use those two in conjunction in doing some things that I needed to do with them. I could get this deployed on a system somewhere and then have a listener on my system in Metasploit, and they would be able to communicate, and that's how we would be able to make use of that. 